Hey, folks, my next guest is a platinum-selling recording artist, producer, and a best-selling author. And she recently published her memoir, Never Broken, where she opens up about everything from homelessness to her divorce. Please welcome Jewel. <laughs> You didn't know, did you? <laughs> I saw the reactions on their face. I don't have a fake audience. They give it <laughs> to you real. I like that. How you been? I've been really good. I mean, you know what? You face so many obstacles, but, but you seem to learn from each one of them. Yeah, I really think, and the reason I wrote this book, our losses and our pain and our struggles don't have to make us bitter or damaged. They can actually make us more extraordinary, more compassionate, uh, more empathetic people. Yeah, and that's what I love about your story. What, what, what do you say to women who are dealing with divorce? Divorce is heartbreaking. I don't wish on anybody. It really, I felt like it was such a failure in my own life. It was really a sad thing for me. Uh, but for me, it was really about forgiving and letting go and moving on. Um, mm. So you let go of all the issues that led you to that moment and you are in a relationship if you have children forever. And yeah. so you still have to figure out a way to have a great relationship for your child. And it's very selfish not to. You have to put that child first and you gotta put your personal feelings second. Yeah. And hopefully both of you can do that. Yeah. How old is your son now? He's four. For it. I heard he's got quite a personality. Though. He is. He's a very communicative child. <laughs> very wordy. Yeah, he's sweet. Yeah, a dog jumped up on me the other day, and he was up on the porch looking down at us on the road, and it was some stranger's dog, and he holds up at his hand, he goes, desist this behavior. I was like... <laughs> <laughs> a four-year-old? Yeah. Has he been watching... Yeah, I don't know what he's been watching. Like, where does he get that from? I don't know. Yeah. Yeah. Law and order. Cease this. <laughs> yeah, yeah, your kid going to be a lawyer. Cease and desist. Yeah. <laughs> how, how, how did you overcome? Because in your book, you talk about overcoming the, the, the troubled relationship that you had with your mom. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it was a lot. You know, my mom left home when I was eight. Uh, she didn't feel like being a mom anymore, but I didn't know that at the time. Uh, I just thought my dad took us. Uh, he moved us back to the homestead. I was raised on a ranch in Alaska. My dad became abusive. He was raised in an abusive household. And I moved out at 15, and I knew statistically girls like me end up repeating the pattern. And so yeah. you either end up in an abusive relationship or you end up in drugs or on the pole in a yeah. matter of years. And I wanted to see if I could avoid being a statistic. And I looked at nature versus nurture, and I thought if I didn't like my nurture, could I re-nurture myself? And so that's what I set out to do when I was 15. And it led me on a very crazy, long, winding road. Um, and writing songs for me was just a way of trying to understand this journey that I was on. Yeah. And then my mom came back into my life when uh, I was 18, when I got discovered while I was homeless. And it was a really difficult relationship. Wait a minute, okay. Your mom came back into your life, mm -hmm. but you were homeless at the time. Yeah, originally I was helping take care of my mom in San Diego. I'd moved there after I graduated high school. Mm -hmm. um, she had a heart condition, so I was helping take care of her. And I had a job working in a computer warehouse, and uh, my boss took me aside to have a talk with me one day, and I realized he was propositioning me. And I joked it off. I didn't think a lot about it. I just turned him down. And it wasn't like a big blow up, but I went in for my paycheck the next day because my rent was due. And he ignored me. He wouldn't look at me, wouldn't talk to me, wouldn't give me my paycheck. And so we got kicked out of where I was living. My mom went back to Alaska. I was living in my car, and then my car got stolen. And then I almost died of blood poisoning because I had bad kidneys, and I almost died uh, in the parking lot of an emergency room because they wouldn't see me because I didn't have insurance. And I uh, ended up homeless for about a year. I, 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 I love the story. I, I, I love a comeback story. I love people who've overcome, succeeded against the odds, who've fallen and got back up. You did it, I'll tell you that. Yeah. And, you, and, and you've released a new album? How's, how's this different from the other ones? I put the book and the album out together. They kind of are a companion to one another. This album is a throwback to my first album, so it's a very singer-songwriterly, uh, very emotional record. I made it so that hopefully when you listen to it, you'll feel like there was a connection from my vein to your vein. Now, Jules, yeah, okay, you can... <laughs> <laughs> now, this is her new book, everybody. It's Jules' new book is Never Broken, and then her new album is picking up the pieces. Uh, all of these are in stores now, and everybody in the audience is going home with copies of these right here. So that'll be great right there. Jewel, I love your story. Thank you for your courage, darling. We'll be right back. Uh -huh.